So if you are trying to correct a lisp, either for yourself or your child, I am going to give you a framework to follow to master the S sound at home. So if you've been following along with my other how to make the S sound videos that I've made in this series, that's great. But if you haven't been following along, don't worry. I'm gonna give you the tools you need today to become independent with the S sound. Obviously, it's best to go see a licensed and certified speech language pathologist to correct your articulation, but we all know that our resources are limited right now, and I'm a licensed and certified speech language pathologist, so I want to give you as many tools as I can over the computer so that you can do do well at home. And I am a telehealth speech language pathologist right now. So I'm used to interacting with people over Zoom and uh, connecting that way. But if you have any questions or if you want me to make any other kind of a speech therapy video, I upload videos every Thursday with speech related topics. On Tuesdays, I make twin family videos, but Thursdays are for speech. So please feel free to leave me a comment with any questions you have or any other ideas for videos you might have. But today, this is the picture we're talking about. So in order to master the S sound, you will want to follow a pyramid type of a format. Each step takes a week of practice. And I made a video covering these first three, first four, actually, um, first four sections of the pyramid. And then this is what I'm going to recommend you do on your own. But let me just explain what I'm talking about. In order to start S sound practice and correcting your lisp, you want to just practice it in isolation by itself. You want to make sure you know how to make that S sound clearly and you feel really confident saying tss, tss, by itself. So you're going to do that practice every single day for a week. Uh, I will put a link up here for you to watch my video on how to just make the S sound. And then once you do that, watch my next video about how to make the S in words. So again, you're gonna practice this every day for a week, but think of it like it builds on itself. So you don't just stop practicing the S by itself. Your practice then at home is going to be 10 long S sounds, 10 short S sounds, and then 10 words that, one syllable words that begin or end with S. And then same concept, once you do that for a week, you move on to multisyllabic words. So just longer, more complex words. So your practice every day will look like this. 10 long S sounds, tss, tss, tss. 10 short S sounds, tss, tss, tss. and so on. 10 one syllable S words, 10 multisyllabic S words. So when in a multi-syllable word, the S could come at the beginning, the middle, or the end of the word. And as you practice, I recommend slowing down your rate of speech and over exaggerating the S sound. That's not how we naturally talk. So if we say the word sad, sounds a little dramatic, but just for the sake of practicing, that really trains your mouth how to get that tongue in the right spot and your lips in the right shape to make it in all of these different contexts. So over exaggerate and slow down your rate of speech when you practice. So you do this for 10, uh, not 10 days, a week. And then your next week, it's the same thing, phrases, and then sentences. So we did all of this pretty much in my videos that I've already made. 
So if you'd like to watch those and do like a back and forth type of a session, I have recorded back and forth sessions where I go into specific speech therapy strategies for practicing the sound, for practicing the words, for practicing the phrases. And then here is the thing that I haven't covered yet, but I'm gonna turn it over to you to practice this on your own and use all use this structure when you're practicing. In conversation, that's when speech therapy is technically over. You know, if you've gotten to the point where I'm listening to you and I'm saying, oh, it sounds good 100% of the time in conversation. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, that's when you can feel pretty good like, I can say it by itself, in words, in phrases, in sentences, and in conversation, I would say that my lisp is corrected. But the strategies you use for conversation, slow, steady speech. So think about it like three S's, slow, steady speech. Retrain yourself to be very mindful as you talk. Take more pauses, take breaks, slow down your speech. And when you slow down your speech, you have the opportunity to over articulate those S sounds. So it might sound a little funny at first, and it might feel a little funny to you at first. But that is the strategy in conversation to really get comfortable making the S sound. And what I recommend to people as they get to the conversational stage of S articulation therapy is to start small. Don't expect 100% morning to evening of the day to be able to say the S all the time perfectly. But set aside 15 minute intervals during the day where you dedicate the mental energy to master it and to really be mindful of slowing down slow, steady speech. So for example, if you warm up at the beginning of your day and you do all of these practices, so you've woken up, you brushed your teeth, you said your 10 long S's, 10 short S's, 10 S words, 10 long S words, 10 phrases, 10 sentences. Then you go sit down at breakfast with your family and you have a conversation or if the only other time that you sit down that, with your family or whoever it is, is at dinner. If there's a time during the day that's like 15 minutes that you can count on every day to converse with somebody, dedicate just that time in the beginning to really being mindful of the S sound and then build on that every day. I would say work in 15 minute intervals in your mind. Okay, so today, and the next couple days, I'm just gonna focus on 15 minutes of good quality conversational practice. Then work your way up to a half an hour, then an hour, and then full day of just constantly on. So in the description below, I will put a link to a website that has lists of all of this, of S words, of multi-syllable S words, of phrases, sentences, and paragraphs. So it's a free website. It's like if you Google S words speech therapy, it's one of the first hits on Google. Uh, I use it in pretty much all of my S clients sessions because it's just a really easy go-to place of perfectly spelled out S words. <laughs> so it's it's a really good resource to you and that's what you can use for your practice at home. And then the only other thing I would say is if you are going to be the parent working on this with your child to, um, I, how, how do I say this? <laughs> to be very encouraging. So with articulation therapy, it's very frustrating. And it's kind of confusing. <laughs> and to be supported in this process is important. So give them the tools. And then when you go to correct them, the way I recommend correcting them is to always say, good try. The way I heard you say it was sad. Let's try it again. 
sad and just say if they you know if they're still struggling if it's a hard back and forth to have just say good sad and model it correctly for them or if they're real young like you know seven or something like really young and uh, still still um kind of having a hard time grasping the whole concept of conversation what I would recommend is if they say a sentence to you, like today at school, I played with Sally, just echo it back to them correctly. Instead of picking apart everything they say to you, echo it back to them and say, oh, so today at school, and use your little gestures, at school, you played with Sally, nice. And in those little 15 minute intervals, if you're working with your child, let them know, okay, it's time to practice our S sound in conversation. So while we eat, we're gonna talk about school. So as we talk about school, let's think about your S sound. And just be as encouraging and positive as you possibly can. Okay, so that is with children. Now, if you are a teen or a young adult or an adult trying to master your S sound. I want your expectations to be realistic. Do you think that when you get to this point in therapy, it's, it's over? You don't have to practice anymore? Unfortunately, no. For adults with a lisp, um, specifically the S sound, it is a constant effort. It's like a, an exercise that you have to do all the time. So I recommend waking up every day and doing your morning articulation practice. And if you have the energy for it at the end of the day to just retrain that skill every single day and train your tongue like it's a muscle. Think about it like some kind of a sports practice where if you wanna get really good at soccer, you go and you do the drills. I don't know anything about soccer. I don't know anything about sports, but I'm pretty sure you do drills and you do like practice games and you do an actual game. It's the same thing with the S sound. Drill the actual sound, drill it in words, then you just use it in conversation and don't be frustrated or don't be surprised if you have stopped practicing and your lisp comes back. That tongue is just a tricky muscle to retrain. So I have made these videos for you as a resource to, to know tricks to use, to tell your brain and tell your mouth how to actually make that sound. So I'll put the full playlist to all those videos in the description of this video so that you can just have those as a reference whenever you need them. Um, and again, just leave me a comment with any questions you have or if you want feedback, um, I am very open to conversing with you because I want this to be beneficial and I can't actually be there to hear you and to you know, work with you myself. So please don't hesitate if you wanna reach out to me here. And I actually just started my own SLP. It's called Easy Free SLP Instagram page. <laughs> I will put a link to my Instagram page in the description too. So that that's another way we can maybe direct message each other. If you ever have any questions, I just started it. So it's very new. It's very fresh and whatever. Um, so yeah, but I will be back next week with another speech video next Thursday. And then Tuesday, I'll be back with another uh, twin family video. Okay, I hope you're doing well and I will see you later. Bye.